In this video, I want to show you about the bullnose profile as it applies to decks. That's what you see going on here. The deck boards overhang the support structure like they do in just about every deck, but instead of leaving it square as it comes from the factory, I like to put on a, this, as I said, a bullnose profile. It's a semicircular profile. This piece of wood is an inch and a half thick. A piece of composite actually is an inch and a half thick, just like regular construction grade lumber. And now I wanna show you how I use a router to create this kind of profile. And you can use it in, uh, in any application on your deck, any place where some wood overhangs something else, that's gonna look really nice. And you can apply it to different thicknesses of wood too, depending on the router bit you use, so, as you'll see. This is a router, and this is the router bit that I use to create these bullnose profiles that I'm gonna tell you about. Uh, a router spins a bit very quickly, about 20 to 25,000 RPM. And so it imparts the, the profile that you see here, the quarter round profile onto what I'm routing. This bearing on the top here rides up against the edge of the wood and it regulates the bit, it, it keeps the bit Kind of going straight because it's following the straight line of the wood. So, uh, a couple of things. First of all, as I said, this is inch and a half thick, and I'm going to be creating that bullnose shape with two passes of this quarter round bit. So, in order to work properly, the the uh, the radius of this quarter round bit needs to be half of the thickness of the wood that I'm working with. So half will be routed on one side and then half will be routed on the other. And the, the idea is to get those things to mesh properly, to get those two passes to mesh properly. And as I'll show you, that's a function of the height of the bit in the router. Now, the reason I like to use this bit for this operation is because uh, this bit is relatively inexpensive compared with other bits that you could use to do the same job. It also has a lot of different uses. It can be used uh, for this job, for all kinds of furniture making and cabinet making. Anytime you want to make a rounded edge on something, this round over bit, that's what it's called, is the thing to use. So this is a three quarter inch radius round over bit. And I'm going to use it to mill this inch and a half thick lumber. Now, th this is another bit. I'm just going to show it to you. It, it's, a, it's a very useful bit. Um, and as you see, it can create the whole profile in one pass. The problem is that a bit like this is considerably more expensive than a bit like this. It's harder to find and its uses are more limited. Uh, in fact, this one, as big as it is, is not even big enough to do this piece of wood because as you'll see, the, um, the working width of the thing is an inch and a quarter and I need an inch and a half. So this is a bullnose bit and I use it in my shop, but not for this job, as you'll see. Now I'm gonna be making three passes, three routing passes on this piece of wood to show you how it works. And I'm going to intentionally make a mistake on two of them. And this mistake is, is easy to do. Mistake number one is where the bit is, is too far into the base of the router. You see a router, like this, it, it spins the bit. Let me just uh, unplug things here. <clears throat> it spins the bit, just make sure it's off. Um, but the position of the bit in, in the router can, can change. It can go up and down. And so your job is to get the bit so that it's cutting just flush with this piece of wood, this piece of material here with the, the face plate of the router, not too shallow and not too deep. And that's really what it comes down to. That and one other little operation when you're finished routing. Now I'm gonna make my first intentional mistake. You see this, this edge here, right here, should just seamlessly transition to the base of the router, but it doesn't. It's, it's a little bit below. So I'm gonna take two passes, just on one side of this simple piece of tracks here, one side and the other, so you can see what too shallow looks like. This 
doesn't look too bad, but the problem is that uh, there's not a smooth curve. There's kind of a kind of a ridge here where you're, you're flat, and then all of a sudden you start right away in the curve. That's because the bit wasn't low enough, so the curve didn't come around smoothly to the face. Now it it met fairly well in the center because that's just the nature of the bit, but now. Before I do it the right way, I'm going to make the bit stick out too far so you can see what sort of a problem that causes. Here we have the, the router base plate. And once again, there's, there's not a smooth transition, uh, but this time I can feel the edge there. And that's gonna cause a different sort of a problem as you'll see when I route both sides of the next section. I don't need to route the other side because you can see what the problem is. Now I've exaggerated this. You'd have to have your router bit adjusted pretty badly to create this sort of a lip. But once again, this is not what you want. And if I had routed the other side, there'd be a similar lip on the other side too. It actually doesn't look too bad, but it's not gonna stand up very well on the deck because of the foot traffic and things. So now I'm gonna adjust the router so that it cuts properly and you'll see what a proper cut looks like. The actual adjustment, the proper adjustment is pretty tricky and you can see right now the, the router bit is still above the face plate. I'm using a straight edge here. I could use my finger but the straight edge kind of magnifies any difference more. So see how I'm, I'm turning this knob. There's, there's a knob down here at the bottom. Rout, different routers have different mechanisms for adjust for fine-tuning the, the depth but uh, it's as close to perfect as I can get it by eye. It's always necessary to test these things before you actually cut it, cut, cut your, your good deck boards. I think we're gonna be pretty close, but uh, let's give it a try. This one looks pretty good. See, it's a very smooth transition here and here. Now, we do have a little bit of a ridge in the middle. This this always happens. And you know, earlier on, I told you there's there's one other step involved, and the step involved just just smoothening this with a sander. Just, of course, I would be doing a long board like this, but just a random orbit sander back and forth, get rid of the ridge, it doesn't take any time at all. And then just make sure that your transition is, is perfectly smooth all the way along the board. And then you've got a really nice bullnose profile that's gonna make your deck look better and really hardly take any time to do it all. Well, thanks very much for watching another one of my videos. I hope you like it. If you do, give me a, a thumbs, a YouTube thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and if you do hit the notifications bell so you get notifications when I put out new videos and check out my website the URLs in the description box lots of great stuff going on there including my world-famous weekly newsletter Saturday mornings <laughs>